two years ago, we, we were eight people on the team and we were using Asana at that point, but the way we used Asana at that time was completely different. We had one team with so many projects in it and we didn't even know we can create another team. It just didn't, it, it just didn't come naturally to us. So we're like, okay, we definitely need to consult someone. Uh, we tried to do the research ourselves first on internet. We read on Asana forum, but still it didn't work well. So we, did, we decided we needed help here with someone who has experience in it. My name is Erika Zegite. I'm the COO at Sugatan. Uh, Sugatan is a full scope digital marketing agency or what we call e-commerce growth incubator. As the COO at Sugatan, I am responsible for day-to-day -day operations. It does not involve all the day-to-day -day project management, but involves like a management on a higher level and also creating operational procedures, which we also decided to do in Asana. There's a lot of involvement here because you're solving problems that are actually the bottleneck to efficiency and effectiveness in the organization. And we, we realized that our work is not really efficient and effective. And the main reason was because we saw there's a lot of communication happening on Slack and the communication that's happening involves the status updates. And we immediately knew that this is something that should not be on Slack because as the team is growing very, very fast, more and more people get notified about the things that should not even bother them or they should not be in be even involved in those things. So that's when we realized that our workflow, our communication is not really that effective because all of the things are still happening on Slack. So when it comes to communication with clients, it was still happening via emails and we knew this is not effective. So that's when we realized that Asana is a good place because we saw there's a conversation section in Asana, there's a comment section inside each task. So we're like, okay, we definitely need to use that part of, of Asana. So that's where we realized our workflow was not really efficient at that time. With Bastian, the first thing that was a game changer for us, the first thing we learned from him, and I think, I all, actually, I always say to everyone using Asana, the first thing you need to learn is how to use my tasks and inbox properly. And if you do that, then you already have like 50% of the work done. Before we implemented all of these things that I just mentioned, hardly, I would say not all the people looked at the Sana project, not everyone looked at what is happening. So one of the most important things that happened is that everyone became kind of addicted to the platform itself because it provided all the information they needed. So it became like the main source, you know, like energy source for, for the company. We saved a lot of time on an efficient communication and we increased our efficiency. Now it's hard to define the numbers because, you know, you don't usually measure this, especially when you're a remote team and you don't have a good overview of where everyone is spending their time. But, you know, I can be very safe saying that it tripled the time we save, like it just inc incredibly saved a lot of time for us and everyone became addicted to Asana, which is a good thing because then everyone stayed on top of things.